Hello guys, Martins here and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Lately I didn't have so many ideas, so I can be less active these days, I'm not sure. And today I'm gonna show you how to create this simply manipulation with this water reflection. It's very basic, I think, and hope you like it. Um, at first I used this pre-made background and and this model, XTOCKX uh, from DeviantArt, I link... Uh, I link here in the description also I link uh, this pre-made background so at first I need to make selection on my model and copy this part of course as always make selection and feather radius about 3 pixels then uh, click right click selection tool click right and layer via copy because I wanna copy this part and it's uh, too large for my background so I change my image size right now maybe like this and let's see move it to our main project and okay I think it it's and I think it's uh, okay Maybe I make some uh, correction. I don't want this finger. Okay. So it looks like this and now I want to make a reflection on the water. So duplicate this layer, now you can press control to make selection, click right and free transform. Okay, I think like this. Deselect this and and adjust this uh, part. As you see, it's not perfect, so we need to transform it a little more. Maybe like this. Okay. I think it looks okay. Now you can change opacity to soft light and maybe opacity about 70% or less, 60. Okay. So now it's time for some shadow and same method uh, back to our layer of model. Press control, click on this layer, go to exposure or hue saturation uh, to make this uh, layer black drag this down under our model layer and free transform to adjust our shadow it's some work but by clicking but by press control and clicking on the corner you can adjust your your shadow it should be like this i think it should be like this and okay let's see now using eraser tool remove this uh, unnecessary part because we want shadow only on the on the rock go to filter blur gaussian blur and make it little blurry as you see like this uh, but I think it's it doesn't look perfect so 
I need to put more work in this. Uh, you can uh, add some shadow using uh, just regular brush if you want. Also add some blur to make it, uh, to add some real look. Okay, I think it looks uh, not bad. And okay, now I think we can add some uh, lightning effects on our background. Maybe like this. I think it looks a little better. Maybe also, uh, you can also use some special uh, brush. Uh, for example, this uh, this light brush I put. I link it in the description if you are interested in and to load these brushes to your Photoshop click the small icon load brushes and find it on your computer then click load so for example this I think it looks uh, okay Maybe I change opacity a little because it's uh, too strong for me. Okay, it's almost done. Uh, it's as I said, it's simply manipulation. Uh, but I missed some uh, parts here. I think it's good idea to use uh, Dutch and Bantle. So create new layer. Uh, go to Edit, Fill, and fill it with color gray, and then change blend mode to overlay to make it of course invisible not too much And also some burn tool. And right now you can add some color correction, uh, for example, hue saturation at first to saturate this uh, image, uh, but just a little. And of course, some photo filters and gradient map, uh, one of the most important thing. I want to add some warm color maybe. Maybe also photo filter is okay for this type of
some warming filter maybe about 30 percent and at the end some curves to add some contrast At the end, I I delete some mistakes. And okay, I think it's all. Uh, as I said at the beginning, it's a uh, very basic manipulation. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment if you have any question or any opinion. And see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.